Hey, um, it's Mr. Adams here and this group from Columbia has successfully set up their batter board. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what that means. This is a project we do during our site layout uh, unit. And what they've done first is they established edge of the road. That's their setback. Um, their building is 16 feet long by 12 feet wide. So the first thing they did is they established they made. They established this stake first. They put that stake in second. They made sure it was 16 feet apart and 10 feet off the road. They put a finish nail in exactly 16 feet apart. After they got that done, they established their third point on their building by measuring 12 feet this direction and 20 feet this direction. And where those two points met, they put that stake in the ground. They did the same to establish their fourth corner. They measured 20 feet this way and 12 feet this way to establish that, that stake. The reason being is the diagonal measurement or the hypotenuse of a 12 by 16 building happens to be 20 feet. So again, we have 12 feet, 16 feet, and then the diagonal measurement from the top of the nail head to the top of the nail head is 20 feet. All right, so after they got their four building corners established, they set their batter boards. These are what we refer to as batter boards here. They came back out of the excavator's way, all right, where he's gonna dig. This is referring to the outside of the foundation line, these string lines are. So they moved their batter boards back out of the way so that they could position the string lines directly over the point, the outside edge of the wall, all right? And they made sure while they were doing that, that the top of their batter boards here, here, over here, over here, over there, there, and there, are all those boards are level, okay? So when they set their string lines up, the string line or the grid that it made in the air here is exactly level, and the corners of their grid is right over the nail heads that they established at the original at the original offset of staking out the building. Now what would happen in, in, in the real world if we were really gonna dig this out and excavate it is we would take straight line marking paint, we would mark the ground all the way around the perimeter of our string lines here, which represent the outside of the foundation wall. After the thing was sprayed on the ground, we would remove our string lines, allowing the excavator to come in here and dig out what he needs to dig out. After he's done digging, we can reestablish our string lines and put the lines back up to put our corners back in the hole after he leaves and the, and the hole is dug. So this is what batter boards look like. This is a real simple 12 by, six, 12 by 16 building. The diagonal, diagonal measurement or the hypotenuse of that triangle is 20 feet. All their batter boards are level. They learned how to do their carpenter's knot, string it all up. Um, and now they're ready for an excavator to come in and dig out their project. So that's what it looks like. And that's what your project should look like as well when you're done. So thank you.